Fundamentals Friday Episode 2. Click that subscribe button and let's get started to do these 10 questions in 5 minutes. A nurse is caring for a client with impaired mobility. Which intervention is essential to prevent pressure ulcers? Massage and bony prominences every hour? Repositioning the client every 2 hours? Using a donut shaped cushion? Or keeping the bed linens tightly drawn? The correct answer is B. Regular repositioning helps distribute pressure and prevent pressure ulcers. Massaging bony prominences can increase the risk of skin breakdown. Donut-shaped cushions can cause pressure points, and tightened linens can restrict circulation. A client is prescribed a medication to be administered via the subcutaneous route. What needle length is typically used for subcutaneous injections? 1 inch, 1.5, 2, or 2.5 inches? The correct answer is A. For subcutaneous injections, a needle length of 1 inch is commonly used, as it allows for proper administration into the subcutaneous tissue without reaching the muscle. A nurse is assessing a client's vital sign. Which vital sign is considered a direct measurement of cardiac function? Blood pressure, respiratory rate, pulse oximetry, or heart rate? The correct answer is D. Heart rate directly measures cardiac function and reflects the number of times the heart contracts per minute. A client is diagnosed with diabetes and is learning to self-administer insulin. What education should a nurse provide regarding insulin administration? Inject insulin into the muscle for rapid absorption. Rotate injection sites within the same location. Store insulin at room temperature for convenience or skip doses if the client is not planning to eat. The correct answer is B. Rotating injection sites within the same location helps prevent lipodystrophy. Insulin is injected subcutaneously, not into the muscle. Insulin should be stored according to manufacturer recommendation, and skipping doses can lead to complications. A client is experiencing shortness of breath and anxiety. What is the priority nursing action? Administering an anoxylic medication? Providing supplemental oxygen, encouraging deep breathing exercises, or checking the client's vital signs. The correct answer is B. In a client experiencing shortness of breath, the priority is to address oxygenation. Administering oxygen takes precedence over other interventions. A nurse is caring for a post-operative client. What is the most effective way to prevent post-operative complications such as pneumonia and atelectasis? Administering pain medication, encouraging deep breathing exercises, restricting fluid intake, or administering prophylactic antibiotics? The correct answer is B. Deep breathing exercise helps prevent complications by promoting lung expansion, preventing atelectasis, and improving oxygenation. Pain medication is important but doesn't directly address respiratory complications. A nurse is assessing a client's nutritional status. Which laboratory test is a reliable indicator of a client's protein status? Hemoglobin level, serum albumin level, blood urea nitrogen level, or serum glucose level? The correct answer is B. Serum albumin level is a reliable indicator of a client's protein status. It reflects long-term protein status while other options are not specific to protein assessment. A client is receiving an IV infusion of 0.9% saline. The nurse notes swelling and redness at the infusion site. What is the appropriate action? Slow down the infusion rate, stop the infusion immediately, elevate the extremity, or apply a warm compress to the site? The correct answer is B. Swelling and redness at the infusion site may indicate infiltration. The appropriate action is to stop the infusion immediately to prevent further complications. A nurse is preparing to administer a medication that has a narrow therapeutic index. What is the significance of a narrow therapeutic index? The medication has a wide safety margin, the dosage must be carefully monitored, 
the medication is contraindicated for most clients or the medication has a rapid onset action? The correct answer is B. A narrow therapeutic index means that there is a small difference between the minimum effective dose and the minimum toxic dose. It requires careful monitoring to avoid adverse effects. A client is diagnosed with a communicable disease. What type of isolation precautions should a nurse implement? Airborne, contact, droplet, or standard? The correct answer is A. Airborne precautions are implemented for communicable diseases transmitted via small droplets that remain suspended in the air. Examples include tuberculosis and chickenpox. Go ahead and click that subscribe button for new videos every Friday to join us for Fundamentals Friday to prepare to pass your HESI Fundamentals